All right, question number 79, and this should not surprise you again. This is a topic from electromagnetic wave, which is only in JE mains. Let's see. There are two electric fields given. One electric field is this, which is in air, and this is another electric field, which is in medium. So this one is the electric field in air. This one is the electric field in medium. Rest, all the symbols have the usual meaning, and we need to calculate the ratio of relative permittivity of 1 is to 2 and there is another thing which is very important that the medium is non-magnetic. So this has to be taken care. Now let's try to see what the solution will go like. Now the first thing is see, let's try to see the first field. If you see the value, this is omega and omega z by c minus omega t. So I'll just write the phase part. So that is going to be omega z by c minus of t and further opening up this will be omega z by c minus of omega times t and omega by c can be written as kz minus of omega t. So this is the field and the phase in medium which is air. Now let us try to see the phase in another medium, if you see the phase here in the next medium that is k 2 z minus of c t. Now let us try to understand. If you just open it up you get 2 k z minus of k c times t and let us try to analyze it further, it is quite an easy deal. You get this particular thing as 2 k z minus omega t. Now we are almost at the verge of solving. This is the phase in air and this is the phase in medium. Notice omega has not changed and that will never change either because whenever the medium is changed omega does not change. But k has been doubled. So if k has doubled it means the wavelength has become halved. And if wavelength has become halved, quite obviously the speed of light in the medium has also gone half. So it becomes something like this, V equals to 1 by 2C. And recall the definition of speed of electromagnetic wave in any given medium. So that is going to be 1 by root of mu times, you know, epsilon 2 and that will be equals to one half of mu times epsilon 1. This will also come below the denominator. And mu has not changed because it has been said that the medium is non-magnetic. So in that particular situation, the mu would get cancelled and all I need to do is that calculate the ratio of epsilon 1 is to epsilon 2. The ratio of permittivity will be the ratio of relative permittivity and that will give us option number 2 which is a straightforward calculation. So the answer for question number 79 is 2. So 2 is the solution for this but did you realize again a question from a portion which is specifically for J means. Let us go to question number 80. Question number 80 is from the topic alternating circuit and this one is a straightforward a fact based question you may say. There is an RLC circuit driven with the voltage and you could see that the resonance frequency is there. The current exhibits resonance at this particular frequency which is the fact and we need to calculate the quality factor. Quality factor is a term which has lots and lots of significance in AC. But here we are just supposed to calculate the definition and you see the value of quality factor is omega naught divided by twice of beta where beta is called as the damping factor and the value of damping factor comes out to be twice multiplied by r upon 2L. So this comes out to be omega naught L by r. So there is no any additional thing which we can add because the question simply demands the definition of quality factor. So option number 4 is the correct answer for question number 80. Let us move to the next one.